50 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that... Today, a Michigan doctor sentenced being called a monster. A day of reckoning for the doctor who diagnosed hundreds of patients with cancer when they did not have it. Outside the court, the tears and anger he lied to so many patients, giving many of them extensive chemotherapy, which then made them sick. So many of those families today coming face to face with the doctor as he was sentenced to 45 years behind bars. And you're about to hear what the doctor said to those families. ABC's Ron Claiborne leads us off. Judgment day for the doctor who caused so much pain. Victims of Dr. Farid Fata outside the courtroom where he was sentenced, hand in hand, then defiant. 45 years for the lives that he took. It just wasn't enough. In court, the 50-year-old doctor breaking down, saying, I misused my talents, yes, and permitted this sin to enter me because of power and greed. But those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother because I went to every appointment. So I could hear him talking to her and promising her to save her. In all, Fata pleaded guilty to intentionally misdiagnosing more than 550 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that they did not have. He earned more than $17 million as a result. <laughs> Dr. Fata pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a profit center. One of the patients, 53-year-old Monica Flagg. Stressful. It was extremely emotional. We begin with that breaking headline today. A Michigan doctor sentenced being called a monster. A day of reckoning. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, this is the book of Jude, verse 24. No, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rokhaha Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yakim, who are that are sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Kodash, Second Peter chapter one, verse one or two. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. Whoa, so yeah, yeah, I'm the brother Sepo Kusha Banyamin here. But the Grand Chief Great Millstone Barbados. Yeah, you see this, see this clip here. This, this daughter here. I don't, I don't want some misdiagnosis. He, 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 he. Um. He um, intentionally diagnosed these people with a disease that they did not have. And in the process, made them sick with chemotherapy. I can attest to that because my mom, back in uh, 2007, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, it was a painful process. They remove, I don't go into details, but you know, with cancer as well, they, just, they do a lot of cutting and then put it through chemotherapy. Which chemotherapy is a waste of fucking time. They kill the bad cells along with the good cells. You know what I mean? But she went through that, lost all of her hair. Ball like Michael Jordan. Small, like, like, like half inch bar. That was a painful time. You know what I mean? painful time, sorry, and um, whatever money that she and my father had, you know, doing the chemotherapy, you know what I mean, paying for these medications and things, it's just a, 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 a it's just a, what's the word looking for, boy, it's a real, it was a real trying time. Seeing your savings going, seeing your health going, right? And the thing is, when they remove, the, when they remove the breast, you know, when you, you can't cut out all too many of the cells leave back, and the cancer came back strong, stronger. You see? 
So these these physicians, man, these quote unquote physicians, these are really no physicians neither. See? Right? That's why they mainly uh Dr. C B and um really the, the ancient prophets cause we, we, we dealt with herbs, we dealt with medicines of the herb, let me get that. Right? Be the medicines of the earth, man. We get out of here, All right? Let me get out of here a minute, man. So, uh, that's a wrap. Wait a minute. You know, I mean, medicines on the earth, man. You see? So, I can't make it. And there's another one in the Psalms, man. So, you write 38. So, you write or Ecclesiastes 38, verse 4. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. But these quote unquote daughters and this modern quote unquote modern medicine, she is how to avoid shoulder impingement. They going so like him, my going right, going man. It going man, cheese on oh, bread. Man, so like it might go on, man. I don't know what this is do that. Right? Let me see saying here a minute. Um Earn seventeen billion dollars in the process, boy. Seventeen billion dollars. Seventeen billion dollars, my child, boy. It going, man. I can't get back. Um, is it here? My idea is here. Though. Seventeen billion dollars in the process, boy. Sorry. Come on, man. Uh, this is the closest point to the moon. It's right here on planet Earth. It's a lucky man. And it's not Mount Everest. It is a mountain in a country. So yeah, I find it, but I find it, but. Those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother. Because I went to every appointment, so I could hear him talk to her to save her. In all, Fata pleaded guilty to intentionally misdiagnosing more than 550 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that they did not have. He earned more than $17 million as a result. Dr. Fata pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a profit center. One of the patients, 53-year-old Monica Flagg. Stressful. It was extremely emotional. We begin with that breaking headline today, a Michigan doctor sentenced being called a monster. A day of reckoning for the doctor who diagnosed hundreds of patients with cancer when they did not have it. Outside the court, the tears and anger he lied. All for greed. All this gonna say is he hold his soul. Let me let me see if we find out here. Upon the plantation. So it's a lot here. Any interruptions there? But there's um This is the book of Habakkuk. So not a minute, man. And then defiant. 45 years for the lives that he took. It just wasn't enough. In court, the 50-year-old doctor breaking down, saying, I misused my talents, yes, and permitted this sin to enter me because of power and greed. But those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother. Because I went to every appointment, 
so I could hear him talking to her and promising her to save her. In all, Fata pleaded guilty to intentionally misdiagnosing more than 550 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that they did not have. He earned more than $17 million as a result. Dr. Fata pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a profit center. One of the Habakkuk 2 verse 4, Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. <laughs> but the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, so it, this, this Edomite, all oh, these Edomites, man. Okay, you might see some of the background there too. That's collateral damage. You know what I mean? But his soul, his spirit is not upright in him. You understand? He's a physician of no value. Let me get that job. His job. Chapter um, Job chapter 13 verse 4 But ye are forgers of lies Ye are all physicians of no value See that? You are for this This just forged pure Hey What is this going to say? Psalm 58 <laughs> Look my Psalm 58 Verse 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Who's the wicked? Malachi 1 verse 4. Right? Tells you who the wicked are. One of these people here to me just know too. <laughs> Anyhow, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. So it, don't, it doesn't even matter if it's they're doing it to their own people. You know, like when you got a school shooting, oh, oh, he had a mental disorder. Oh, we must all pray for him. Right? But the minute a, a, a Negro, quote unquote Negro, Latino, or Native American do it, oh, he, 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 he's violent. He should be locked up. You know? Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, and, the, and poison don't discriminate. So he, so he don't want his money, and he intentionally misdiagnose these patients their poison is like the poison of a serpent they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear straight to the point is that right? um now the scripture says this this is psalms 104 at 14, he caused the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth. I read earlier, he gave medicines out of the earth. They are herbs that can be used to treat any disease you have. You want to catch it at an early stage, you know what I mean? So, but he intentionally misdiagnosed these people. You see? Now there's one that says Psalms, this is Psalms 104, um, when it says he healed all the diseases, what's that? Um, so many patients giving many of them extensive chemotherapy, which then made them sick. Like I tell you, my mother went through that there, big man. And that was a very uh, trying time, we would say, boy, real thing. That chemotherapy is a waste of fucking time, big man. I tell you, the scripture says this. Let me get that there. I want to get that, man. Um, let me, I want to get that preset. Who he lived all day diseases? Let me get that. Then it's shot, shot. Psalms 103, got it. Psalms 103, verse. Let me start at 1. Bless God. Lord, he hit me this do that, you know. He hit me this do that. Alright. Psalms 103. Uh, 
of verse 3. We start one. Right? That ain't a shot shot, man. <clears throat> Psalms 103. Maybe I'll shut shut now. Psalms 103. Verse 1. Bless Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Are you what you see? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Who healeth all thy diseases. You see? And it comes with knowing the name. Shalom.